best bites forever. Hey everyone, I'm Chef Alicia, and in this video, you'll learn to make this Pinot Noir braised pot roast with porcini mushrooms. To start off, I am taking my lovely roast, which I have covered in kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper, and I'm putting it side down into some nice hot oil. I'm using olive oil here, but you can use canola oil if you would like to. This is a beef round boneless rump roast. Chuck roast also works really well for this, but I like this cut of meat better myself. I find it comes out a little bit more tender. I'm going to put some kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper on the other side, and then I'm going to give it a turn. I want to get a nice sear on all sides of my roast. So there's one side. This is what the fat side looks like now and I'm going to sear that bottom side until it looks like this. I do have this on pretty high heat, not all the way on high but just under. The next thing that I'm doing is adding in one white onion which I have quartered and I'm just kind of deglazing the pan, not officially deglazing because I'm not pulling up all of the bits but kind of pulling up some of that goodness with my onion. With a pot roast, it's a really simple recipe, so it's really, really important to extract as much flavor as possible from all of the ingredients. So what I wanna do is get a nice caramelization on each of my ingredients as I go. So as you can see, my carrots here are starting to get a beautiful little brown outside. My onions are absolutely gorgeous, and all of this is going into the pot that I'm going to roast my pot roast in. So next I'm doing my celery, and again, I'm just kind of scraping up some of those bits off of the bottom of the pan and now I'm going to deglaze with my Pinot Noir I'm using about a cup you can use whatever wine that you want here Cabernet works really well but I just happen to be using the Pinot today scrape all of those lovely brown bits off of the bottom if they're burned and turn into black bits you probably don't want to use them so just go ahead and add the wine directly into your roasting pan the next thing that I'm going to do is add some Yukon gold potatoes, which are going to be completely lovely with this. Here I have about a half ounce of porcini mushrooms and they are dried, obviously. I'm just going to kind of break them up in the bag. You can chop them with a knife if you would like, but I want them to be kind of chunky and uneven, so I just broke them up a bit in the bag and then I'm adding them directly on top of the vegetables. I'm gonna get all the little dusties out of the bottom of that too because mushroom dust is delicious, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so then I'm adding in a teaspoon of kosher salt right on top of my veggies along with some of my fresh ground black pepper and then I'm going to add in some more wine I'm using about a half of a bottle total I didn't measure it out but see that's about what I used half a bottle I'm also going to add in a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes you can up this if you'd like it to have a little bit of spice to it and then I just want to kind of stir my veggies around in the pot this way I'm not dirtying an extra bowl the next thing that I'm going to do is add in some beef stock. I'm using 32 ounces here. Obviously you can make it homemade, but in this case I did not. So 32 ounces going into my pan, and I'm also going to put some fresh thyme right on top. I am doing this in my crock pot today, so I'm going to do it one hour on high and then five to six hours on low. You can also do this in the oven. You're gonna do one hour at 375 and then reduce the heat to 325 and do it for five to six more hours until the meat and the veggies are tender. That's what mine is looking like. So I'm going to go ahead and make some lovely mushroom sauce to go with it. Here I have a couple of tablespoons of butter and I'm adding in like eight to 10 ounces of mushrooms, which I have quartered, along with a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to saute my beautiful little mushrooms around here for just a minute or two in that butter and get them all delicious. And then I'm going to sprinkle some flour into the mix. The flour is what is going to help thicken up our sauce and it is what is forming our roux. So a roux should have equal parts by weight, fat and flour. I kind of eyeballed it, I didn't bother to measure, but if you're new at doing it, you should probably go ahead and weigh it out. I'm gonna cook my roux for like a minute until it starts to give off kind of a nutty scent. And then I'm going to start adding in the juice from our pot roast. I'm just using my turkey baster. You could obviously use a ladle to move some of the juice over there as you're going. And each time I add some of the juice in there, I'm going to stir it around to make sure that I don't end up with any lumps. 
If you're struggling with getting lumps in there, you might want to switch over to a whisk. When you get the right consistency, it should do this on the back of a spoon. That is called nappe, and that shows us that it's ready to serve. This is what mine looks like, all plated up, and I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. Hi again, thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a like and a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends because sharing is caring. And if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to go ahead and subscribe now. Thank you so much for watching and happy cooking everyone.